Let's just address the big elephant in the room. Who has a private pool for their apartment? Apparently I do. <laughs> Yeah, so let's just start out here. I apologize for the noise. It's the pool vacuum. This apartment is incredibly unique. It is a house divided into two units. Never had a pool. Obviously, it was just a crazy adjustment for me. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> I do skim it myself. It's not heated or anything. There is a light. The backyard had absolutely no storage. The shed that you see behind us is actually a Costco shed right here. It was about $800. It's great, it looks really nice, and it actually goes with the whole color scheme of our backyard. This is the outdoor table. I literally wish we had this table inside because it is my absolute favorite piece of furniture ever, ever, ever. Ever. It is concrete. It's so heavy. I just love the size of it. It fits six chairs perfectly and these chairs are the most comfortable thing you'll ever sit on, really. You feel upright when you sit in it. I sit at the table more when I'm out here only because I like the support of the chairs. All right, let's go inside and see the rest of the place. This is the kitchen. It's pretty small, but I like that there are high ceilings, obviously, and the cabinets and everything are updated. I actually love the counter top color. It's this gray stone. Yeah, and I was just excited to finally have an updated kitchen with a big sink and just updated like appliances overall. We have a little coffee corner, which is nice because our old place didn't really have any counter space at all. Anyone else also have a magnet on their dishwasher that says clean or dirty? I'm obsessed with it, by the way. Technically, I guess this section would be the dining area, but it's this is not a dining table. It's just, it's just a regular table, you know? Anyway, so this is where I take my Zoom acting classes, where I do all my computer stuff. I'm obsessed with my guitar ukulele wall. We have massive wall behind us. These the ceilings are what makes this place seem huge because this is only about 850 square feet not including the outside and the fact that there's extremely high ceilings just make it seem like there's so much more space all right so turning the camera 360 degrees from the little dining study area thing is the living room which is right behind me this is the whole living room the kitchen is literally right here so even though it's looking like i'm taking different shots it's actually like all one room you know the living dining and kitchen is basically like in a studio kind of format but yeah so the furniture is from article the couch is from article the tables from article i mean what can i say they have great stuff I have a tv right there on an old ikea stand that used to be one big unit but now we just use the bottom to make it look more modern and cute a mirror that was a part of an ikea closet that we just turned into a single standing mirror. This is the small hallway and hallway closet. The living room is literally, we're still in the living room, but this is just the hallway. That's the main front door that we come through. Got a bookshelf here. The front entrance, we have a little shoe rack, you know, that we put all our shoes. It's from Wayfair. The big piece that I said the TV used to be, now the bottom part is actually the TV stand and the top part actually became like our hallway middle cute whatever you call that we put all our exercise equipment in there actually and a little mail tray on top some of our dead dogs caskets on top some grapefruit <laughs> just whatever random thing like we have that day if we have some packages we'll just generally plop it on there too We are in the bedroom. It's nothing too special. It's super, super small. So small, in fact, that there is no bed that we can leave out. We actually have a Murphy bed, which is right behind me. If you don't know what a Murphy bed is, it's essentially a bed that folds into the wall. So it's actually super cool. Like, I've always wanted one. For a small room, it is a must because otherwise, 
I can't get dressed in here without putting the bed up. The small closet in the corner is mine. That's all my stuff, literally. And we have these two drawers. One side is mine, the other side is my husband's. We put the pillows at the top of the closet because you have to store the pillows elsewhere if you want to be able to fold the bed up. In front of me, we have the other part of the Ikea mirror. So I am in the bathroom. It's pretty basic. The shower is right there and literally this is the amount of space I have and that's it. This is the entire space of the bathroom. So it's really tiny. You cannot have two people in here. It's just pretty tight. Not my favorite bathroom ever but it does the job obviously. Unfortunately the mirror is not like a cabinet or anything so there's zero storage in this bathroom. I mean we have our toothbrushes and face washers like here. Everything else bathroom related is just in the hall closet along with some towels. So pretty small space. The shower is actually the most disappointing part of this home because they just left whatever theme they had from before and didn't make it modern. The tub is not even caulked. It's not even worth like showing you honestly. I just always keep this closed. Hey guys, we're coming up on final thoughts and the wrap up. I realized I forgot to tell you about this corkboard piece that I have in the kitchen. It's just a bunch of wine corks that are put together. Also off the kitchen, we actually do have a laundry room that we will share with our garage neighbor once they are done construction. I mean, it's just a nice laundry room. I mean, I'm glad we have it. And yeah, so here's the living room one last time. The view from the kitchen so you see it's one room here's the bedroom again and i forgot to mention that this apartment is two bedroom but the other room is basically storage right now so that's why i didn't show it <laughs> and then we have the outdoors one last time i mean the outdoor section of this apartment is truly the star i mean the pool and everything just looks so amazing with it and yeah this is obviously the cutest part of my apartment. This is my side, the couch that I always sit on, and my stuffed animal behind me. That's what you can get for three grand outside of LA. When we first rented the place, the rent was actually, it was like $27.85. This is an insane deal, obviously, even though it's only 850 square feet. The outdoor living that you get, the pool, I mean, is an insane deal. But will you be lucky enough to find this for this price anywhere else? Probably not maybe the probability or the likelihood that the rent of this apartment will go up by next year is absolutely a possibility if not a surety let's just say that I've lived here almost two years now it'll be two years in December obviously I've enjoyed it immensely I am proud of this home that I have because it's it's the first home that I really made to my own just in terms of minimalism color scheme and type of furniture and yeah just not growing up with a lot having this now like obviously i feel super luxe ideally more storage would be nice yeah that's the only thing this place lacks and the fact that since we moved in they basically had construction on the garage pretty much since we moved in And we never know when they're going to be here so yeah that's the only cons of this place that they have been constructing the garage this whole time we've lived here and that there is just no storage i hope you enjoyed this tour let me know in the comments below what you think thank you so much for watching this video like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one bye